get to work. Yes, let's go. Retainer is waiting for us inside. It's sure to be a difficult fight. Let's be on our guard. Uh, do you think there's more like the fearsome four in there? Don't worry, Panther. I won't let them hurt you. Forward somewhere around here. Keep your eyes peeled. 
Take Easier than cleaning a paintbrush. As far as I know.
was too easy. Here's hoping the next one's just as easy. to be any danger present. This birdcage, it's just like the one back in Shibuya. Does this mean that bastard Natsume's kicking it somewhere inside? I'd like to say we should just bust our way in, but how does it look, Sophie? Looks like it's still locked. We'll need someone to touch it so we can hear the voices in his heart. Okay then, you're up, Skull. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like it's gonna hurt, and it doesn't seem right to ask Sophie to do it. Oh, but it's cool if I do it? Come on, Skull. You're, you know, tough. And he's already experienced it once before. If anything, he's the ideal candidate. <sighs> Just my luck, I guess. At least buy me a bowl of ramen or something once we're done, yeah? I could do it if you want. Yeah, it's cool. I got it. Thank you, Skull. Hey, you'd think someone his age would have at least some talent. <laughs> like it matters. This kid's gonna make us a fortune. Yeah, I'm hearing voices all right. These voices are somehow related to Natsume's emotional scars? Most likely. We just need to listen to the conversation and figure out the source of his trauma from there. So we're looking for something like what Shujin Academy was to Alice. We should keep listening. There's bound to be some sort of clue here. <laughs> Sir, try to keep your voice down. He'll be back any minute. Oh, come off it. Can you really blame me for complaining? I'm the one who has to read his crap every day. Uh, the kid's got motivation, but that's about all he's got. Seems any talent for writing in that family died with his grandfather. Oh, excuse me, can I get another Katori coffee? Yes, sir, just a moment. Well, he's still our little money tree. No way in hell we're letting him go. <laughs> You're terrible, sir. <laughs> what? What's going on here? Shit hurts. Thanks to that, however, we've managed to hear a good amount. 
I didn't really get it, but uh, it sounded like some kind of cafe. Indeed. I heard one of them say Gatore Coffee. Right. Gatore is the name of a cafe chain. But I don't think I saw any around Sendai Station. If there aren't a lot of them, it'll make finding the right one that much easier. Well, at the very least, we've got a lead on finding the trauma room now. Right. Let's get out of here and find us a coffee shop. Just add this. All right, we're on the hunt for a Gatore coffee. First, let's find out how many are in the area. Gatore coffee. Got it. There's only one that's close to Sendai Station. Whoa, that was fast. It's a bit of a walk, but I'll be happy to guide you to the destination. You're amazing, Sophia. It's like you were made to be a navigator. Ugh, but being the navigator's my job. It's simply a question of having the right person for the right job. Fear not, Futaba. There are plenty of things only you can do. Huh. I guess that's true. Nobody else can act like a weirdo quite like you do, Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? All right. I guess we'll just head over to the cafe then, yeah? Yeah. Let's get going. Okay, I've got it. This is it. Gatori coffee. I can smell the coffee. It seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. All right, let's make it happen. The trauma cells calling our names. Trauma cell? I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. Call it whatever you want. You gotta roll. The key to opening that birdcage has gotta be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of course. It's Prince of Nightmares. It's 
just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's trauma comes from. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Natsume. <laughs> the kid's entered every country, but he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. What's more, his writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. What? That voice... is it Natsume? It can't be... He acknowledged my work. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Poor kid can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> Seriously, it's been <pathetic. laughs> Oh, I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose. So long as he keeps raking it in. We hit the jackpot with that one. <laughs> I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does by some miracle make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins. Right? <laughs> These are the worst. Here it comes. Right on. A talentless hack like you was hopeless. Hopeless! Hopeless! This is the same thing we saw in Shibuya. Careful! It's using different weapons from last time. Persona! Yeah. got in a follow-up attack! Hisaka! Take this! Let's go! You're mine! Persona! Are set! Grab it, Seth! I might not like that, but I'm These assholes who are using the whole time, right? Yeah, I feel kind of sorry for him. They only chose him for who he was. Not what he wants. They exist solely for us to find out. What I can tell, the end of the world is a scumbag. Please allow me to. That's the excuse to let this go on any longer. You guys are pretty strong. Capitalize on its ice weakness. The foe's frozen. Hit it with a nuclear attack. Really quick. Fire! Oh, get out! Take this! That's Joker for you! I'm going too! Joker got in a follow-up attack! You better clean up that game before. That's all you'll ever have! They're driving around with this sneak attack! Is this what they call a ninja? Not Does it? We can get inside the birdcage now, right? Better get going then. We 
Hey, but what was that we just saw? It seems Ango Natsume wasn't given that award on his own merit. Those editors just used him for his name. So, there was a secret behind that novel after all. But he's not a bad guy, is he? It sounded like he entered the competition a whole bunch of times. And just when he thought his hard work was paying off, he had to hear all that. It must have been devastating. Those editors are horrible. They knew his writing wasn't good enough, but they still gave him the prize just so they could make money. It still doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nevertheless, I'm beginning to understand how he feels. Fox? Rising to fame atop stolen ideas, pulling at people's emotions with a fabricated story. Even worse, robbing others of their free will, changing their hearts, and wallowing in his own vanity. These crimes are unforgivable. There's no denying that he's been a fool. And yet, in spite of all that, it doesn't change the fact that Natsume spent years giving it everything he had. Creative work is often a lonely endeavor, and battling against that loneliness is truly a challenge in and of itself. As if it wasn't hard enough, if you don't produce results, no one will even think twice about you. One might even begin to think that such dark and unfulfilling times are all that's in store. Had I taken one wrong step, I may very well have turned out to be just as hideous as him. Inari. It's thanks to your friendship that I didn't stray from the path. He, Atsume, should know better than most that there's no meaning in superficial glory. And now he's turned his back on what he truly wants to write for the sake of spinning this infernal novel of lies. Someone needs to bring him back to his senses. You seem pretty motivated this time around, Inari. As one who's dedicated his life to art, I simply cannot condone his actions. Now, let us bring this to an end. We'll send the calling card, then wrest the Overlord from his throne. What's left is the calling card. Right. We need to make Natsume aware that we're coming to steal the desires. That should materialize them. We'll need to decide how we want to do it. What's the best way to make sure he gets the message? That only worked because we had all those people to help spread the word. It probably wouldn't work here. Hmm, what do we do? Bobby! He could be lost, maybe? I'll go take a look. Hey, what's wrong, kid? You got separated from your mom, huh? Don't worry, I got you. Is that Zenkichi? What? Ramsu's already here? Hey, it's me. I got a kid who was separated from his mom here. Send someone over to look after him, would ya? I'm over it. Huh? What do you mean it's not worth pup sex time? Quit screwing around. You call yourself an officer of the law? Or are you saying you'd abandon your own kid too, is that it? A lost kid's no joke, you know. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? 
It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you or anything. Uh, the kid totally thinks he's a creep. That kid sure made things difficult. He didn't have to run away like that, right? Right? You're not exactly cute and cuddly, Gramps. Honestly, I don't blame him. Will you stop calling me Gramps? This is perfect timing, though, actually. Let's ask Zenkichi what he thinks. <sighs> sure. We're supposed to be working together anyway. We're all set to go inside Natsume's jail. There's just one thing left to do. The only problem is, we're not sure how to send our calling card. Calling card? Oh, you mean that thing you guys did with the screens in Shibuya? If you want my advice, you should avoid any high-profile stuff like that. The police aren't that stupid. Eventually, you'll get caught. I know I'm supposed to help you and all, but I gotta draw the line at breaking the law. Hmm, so the adult's the voice of reason here. You really are a Gramps, you know that? <sighs> You're pretty set on calling me that, aren't you? <sighs> Whatever. My point is, go with something simple. We need a way to guarantee that Natsume will read the calling card. Maybe if we knew where he was going to be, we could set something up before he arrived. In that case, I found just the event. Natsume is holding another book signing at the bookstore near the station. Natsume will most certainly be there. It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds doable. I bet it'd be easy to set up if we roll in at night. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Breaking and entering's a crime, you know? Well, that's where you come in, Gramps. Huh? Yeah. If we did it and got caught, they'd lock us up. They'd lock me up, too! You saying you can't do it? <sighs> Some help the police turned out to be. Wasn't the deal that you'd cooperate with us? I thought adults kept their word. You kids. All right, it's settled. I will go and prepare the calling card. Yeah, you got this, Yusuke. That goes for you too, Zenkichi. We'll leave the planning to you. Am I seriously going to go through with this? Listen to me. Mr. Natsume, 